How I made $33,440 in one day from an online side hustle. In school, we are taught to never talk about money, especially how much you make. I'm contradicting that tradition in this video in hopes that my transparency and vulnerability will encourage, inspire, and help others learn about the legitimate world of making money online that seriously has the power to transform you from the lower class to the 1% as it did for me. Your first reaction would be the same as mine if a stranger on the internet ever said this, 33,000, $440 in one day. No way, fake, impossible. Especially because now I think of my first job out of college paid literally $27,000 a year. So I just think of like working 40 hour work weeks for one year and in one day, this is more than basically what it took me a year to make. People say that money changes you, but I really think it doesn't. I've also read and heard the perspective, and this is what I agree with, that money just makes whatever qualities that you had before you had money stronger. So if you were a jerk before you had money, you're just gonna be a bigger jerk. If you're generous, nice, and kind, really more money allows you to be more generous and kinder. When I see these numbers here, it makes me think of like the work it took to get this single payment. And that was accumulation of literally years of struggle, years of struggle. I am excited to walk through this income uh, and how it came in, why it came in, what I was doing. I'm gonna share everything from the exact product, uh, the business model, um, and how long it took me to get to this point. And I'll let you know right now, um, this was definitely an anomaly. Um, I don't usually make $33,440 in one day. Um, my income, you know, fluctuates, but uh, it can fluctuate. I think this year so far, it uh, is between fifty dollars and $80,000 per month. So if you think of the swings, a 30000 difference, that is a lot to be swinging. But that is just the nature of the game when you are an entrepreneur. So I'm new to making business content online. And it's funny, one of the questions I get asked uh, before even like the how part, which I will get into is why? If you're making all this money online, why talk about it? Why share about it? And of course, I think the obvious one is why teach people? Because yes, I do have courses. You may roll your eyes at this, but I do feel a calling to share this side hustle internet stuff I do because I feel like I have a, an unnaturally good ability to generate money online. And I know that's a skill set that can help people all over the world. Um, now, I think for full transparency sake, the money I share online is never everything. I never share 100% of everything I do. Um, most people don't know this, but um, I actually own three companies. I only talk about one online. That's my online, I call them side hustles, but they're really, you know, full-time incomes, seven figure uh, incomes when you add them all together. But when I started them out 10 years ago, um, it's just the same side hustles that have now grown and the numbers are just much, much bigger. But uh, if you look back in my old posts, uh, which is really only going to be Facebook, um, you'll see that I was sharing like my work and my effort and my progress even when I had nothing, barely anything to show. My very first side hustle was right here on this YouTube channel, creating dance videos, uh, teaching people how to dance. And I shared my data. I shared how much traffic I was getting. I shared how many subscribers I was getting. I could not talk about the money I was making because I was not making any money. But when I first did finally make income from my first side hustle, which took a couple years, um, I shared it. I shared, hey, I just made my first like I think it was like a couple bucks from YouTube AdSense. And then when I had my first course uh, sales from teaching people how to dance, I shared that too. So I'm literally doing the same thing I did when I started, except now the numbers are just on a much bigger scale. So literally from my very first side hustle, my very first day, I've been sharing my data, my numbers. Um, and I, I know there's this thing about make money online gurus uh, where they 
make money online and most of it is really from courses. And I hope the more you watch from me, you'll learn that that's just, just not me. I became a top influencer in teaching people how to dance online, the number one place actually people learn to dance out called popping. We will be breaking down everything you need to know about the foundation and fundamentals of the dance style of popping. And the real just sappy truth is I really enjoy helping people. Um, my stories that I have from teaching people how to dance, uh, you know, it gave me purpose when I woke up. I'm just teaching business now and I feel like dance, what you teach someone how to dance is really teaching someone about self-confidence and that can really make a big impact in their life. And when you teach people how to basically build a side hustle or an income stream, whether it's a little bit a month or a lot a month or their full-time income a month, um, you can change a life in a much bigger way. So I, I, I feel like that's one of the most fulfilling things I get to do. Let's get into the meat and potatoes part. How did I make $33,000 in one day? If you're someone like me who didn't make a lot of money when they graduated college, you might have gone down the path of wanting to try to figure out how do you make money online? You may have gone to Google and literally just typed in how to make money online. But as you'll soon see, when you go on Google, you'll get flooded with ton of different opportunities. And I, as someone who's probably clicked on every single one of these and probably gone beyond probably the fifth page of Google and clicked on every single link, you'll learn that it's overwhelming. How do you know what's legit? How do you know what's a scam? How do you know what's fake? How do you know what's true? Who do you trust? All these questions, right? I finally came across a side hustle that made sense, seemed legit, and is where the $33,000 comes from. It's called affiliate marketing. And affiliate marketing is basically just a way that you can be a commission-based salesperson for any type of product or brand in the world. The only difference between a regular salesman and an affiliate marketer is that a regular salesman picks up the phone or literally knocks on doors to try to get sales. Whereas an affiliate marketer is gonna use the internet to get sales. And it works kind of like this. So a business, let's just say um, Amazon, and they have a, a super large affiliate program, but it's, it's like really not not that good, you make a super small commission, but you can be an affiliate salesman for Amazon. And Amazon, um, their commission structure, let's just say it's like 5%, so when you start doing affiliate marketing, you'll learn that's really not that good. Let's say I wanna sell some sunglasses on Amazon, and I use my Facebook post, and I say, these are really awesome sunglasses, you guys should check them out. So I actually will post about the sunglasses on my Facebook page, and then I have you know, my friends, family, and just random strangers on the internet who follow my Facebook page, or you could put Instagram here or a blog here, and people that be like, oh, I, I wanna get those sunglasses, that sounds great. They will go to Amazon, buy the sunglasses, and let's say the sunglasses cost 100 bucks. So if they purchase it and they clicked on my link, basically on Amazon, again, five to 10% commission, I would basically make $5 for every single purchase that they made. And I know what you're thinking, like all that work for $5, it doesn't seem like a lot and it's not. However, the scale of the internet, the difference between a regular salesman is there's only so many hours in the day that they can pick up the phone and they only, they can't duplicate or clone themselves. So when they're on the phone, they're only on the phone with one person making one business prospect call, whereas the internet marketer can be everywhere and anywhere as many times as possible per your budget or per the size of your audience. So this does not seem like a lot until you have literally maybe 500,000 people who then see the glasses and then buy and then if 10% of those people bought, that's 50,000 people times $5 and dang, you just made a lot of money. Once I learned about the business model of affiliate marketing, it made sense and it seemed legit. I mean, I could sell other people's product. I wouldn't have to worry about inventory or managing people's customers and I could just make a commission. My responsibility, full responsibility is just to make a sale. So I started testing and testing all different types of business, business niches and products, but I definitely tried to gravitate towards what I've learned are the top two 
business niches that you can start in, which is health and wealth. I'm about to share with you the product and the brand that paid me that income. Yes, it came from one business and I'm an affiliate for it. But before I do that, I really truly want to sit down and emphasize with you something. You're hearing this story after I've won or found success. I wish you would have met me during the struggle and the years of how long it took to find success. It was strenuous. It took a lot of money to try to figure it out and test. And I just, before I go further, I just want to let you know that this, these rewards did not come without so much years of struggle and stress to try to get good at this. So to find this product, we have to go to the kitchen. And you'll see here, this is super transparent. No one does this, but we have a super green superfood. Um, and the target market is women, but men and women drink this. Um, and the company that makes it it's called Lady Boss. So this is a super green powder. I'm actually gonna make it right now because I wanna share that one thing when you create a business, you wanna make sure that this is real, it's actually healthy. So one thing I always did with any product and even if it was a physical product, I would always test it myself um, because for two reasons. One, especially with health, pr health products, you wanna make sure that it's um, a healthy, legit, ethical company that doesn't get you know, make people sick or else, you know, you're not gonna be an affiliate for very long. And second, um, I always test my products myself because um, one tried and true thing of the internet is if you scam someone or you sell a product that doesn't work, people are not gonna buy again. And the real business, why that income is so large, $33,000 is because most of that was repeat buyers, not first time buyers. First time buyers, to get someone to buy this the first time is the hardest thing to do online. But if they like it, the chance of them buying again and again month after month, especially with a health-based product which they're using and finishes, this is a 30-day supply, um, that's how you grow a nice residual income. So always test the products. And that's what I was doing, except I was testing so many different other brands and companies, and it took a while to find Lady Boss, probably a couple years. But then when I, I heard them speak on stage at ClickFunnels, and I heard how passionate they were about their community and how much they cared at every single level of detail, including the product detail. I thought, I'm gonna go all out with Lady Boss and start running ads to try to build um, a sizable income. I just didn't know it was gonna be that big. So that answers the what. So yes, I sold a lot of that product plus a protein powder product. Lady Boss pays a commission of, it comes out around to like 33%, made $33,000. They pay out every single two weeks. So I basically sold over $100,000 worth of their product in order to receive that income. So now you've learned a few things for full transparency. Just wanna remind you that basically no one does this. You've learned what the business model was. So that's straight up affiliate marketing for a physical fitness, Based product. I've actually showed you the exact products. One of them actually, the super green, uh, hyper green, um, and then there's the, the protein powder, which I sold. Um, I've showed you the exact company. Um, literally, you could probably go to their website and you'll find me on their website and their affiliates page. I'm their number one affiliate. But now there's the question of how. My example earlier of what an affiliate is, it makes sense. I posted on my Facebook and people clicked on the link and bought. But how did it grow to receive an income payment of $33,000. And that's something where I can share the strategy with you. Um, and I think you're gonna find immense value in that. But you just have to imagine this strategy combined with a budget, right? Because I did spend money. Um, I probably spent, um, just to receive that income, probably around $10,000 in ads. Um, that I spent using the strategy that I'm about to share with you. Um, and, I, and I did that over time, right? So it's not like this is a one hit wonder. Um, the income was growing and growing until it hit this peak uh, payment that I received. Um, then it went back down to kind of a regular amount. Um, so one thing to know about this market is there is seasonality, right? New Year's resolution and summer are some of the biggest seasons where people are trying to get in shape or think about their health. 
Um, and so this came at the beginning of summer um, and it was right at that peak. I was just able to ride that wave of trend that happens pretty much every single year, which spiked uh, this income. But here is a strategy at a philosophical level of what I'm doing to generate income from this company plus over 200 companies today. What I'm about to do on this whiteboard is show you the formula of what I'm doing. It's the concept. It does explain the how. This is exactly what I'm doing without me showing you my specific brands uh, and my specific ads. But you need to know this concept and then the matter of doing the other things, the tactics of executing the strategy, that's just, I think, a very figure outable process for anyone that wants to do what I'm doing. Um, but essentially, so I'm running advertisements on Facebook and um, Instagram, and then we'll put YouTube here, um, and I'll even throw Google. So I spend money on these platforms, and so that is costing me money. Um, it's a minus because I'm spending money to run advertising, and my advertising is not to sell Lady Boss, actually, uh, sounds contradictory advice. My, my ads are trying to collect an email lead, okay, a contact. And so I'm going to sell and promote Lady Boss as well as other fitness brands. Um, and, and I do this across every, like so many different niches, by the way. But um, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to attract the right persona, the right person, in this case, a female, who is trying to better themselves in fitness and health, eat healthier, work out, nutrition, um, maybe just holistic health, yoga, stretching. These are the people I'm looking for who are actively making buying decisions to try to improve their life. I, as a brand, a, you could call it like a blog, a media blog, is writing articles that basically say, here are the top five new super green smoothies you need to try. Here are uh, meal prep plans for your next week uh, for uh, keto. Here are, here's a vegan nutrition plan. I'm creating all these ideas which are free to create and I'm really just an aggregator of ideas and businesses and I'm just running an ad to, to try to find the right person who says, ah, I wanna know, I'm actually currently looking for super green powder. Um, I've maybe tested few, but I haven't committed to a brand yet. And so your idea, I'd be willing to trade my email for and then receive that collected list, curated list that you've created. So my ads are always optimized for leads. And so I know if I have a really good lead generation campaign, if I'm spending a dollar or less, and my really good ones basically are, I've got it down to like every quarter I spend, uh, sometimes even less than that. But I would say if it's in between 25 cents and a, and a dollar, I know I found a really good idea that I'm just bringing a massive amount of people and I'm building a massive email list. Today, I have literally 500,000 emails or more. Um, and so I've had to spend that amount of money or, or you know, you could just do the math here, 25 cents a dollar. How much money did I spend over the last five years to get 500,000 emails? You could figure that out. Um, but when, once I get the lead, then they land on the website, on the blog page, where they receive in their email a list of those companies that I've recommended. And the first one is Lady Boss. Then there's another one, and then a different type of, of brand. And what's amazing, as an affiliate business, it doesn't matter if they click Lady Boss, or number two, or number three, or number 10, if it's a 10 list, they just need to click one of them. And once they click over to Lady Boss and actually go to the Lady Boss page, Lady Boss has a cookie window um, and it's 30 days. And most affiliate programs have a 30 day window. And this window is magical because um, Lady Boss is, does an exceptional job marketing their own company. Um, they have their own ads that are running on every single platform and so all I need to do is send the right click over of the right person. And once they're there, I know that Lady Boss is spending their own budget to try to convert 
that person who landed on their website. And if they convert within the 30 day, win 30 day window, I'm going to make my commission, right? And so when you're an affiliate marketer, clicks count. I want to get the right person who's looking for their product and send them over to that business. And then if they convert within 30 days, and it doesn't matter if they converted right away from my click or uh, from a retargeting ad that Lady Boss created, as long as they convert and they're within that window, I'm going to make my revenue. And so I'm really just a connector. I'm running ads, I'm building a brand um, through recommending other products, and I'm scaling that brand by running ads. So that's the only difference between me and a blogger, is a blogger's kind of doing this, except they're just hoping that when they create the content, that it ranks on Google, so when people type in super green smoothie, that their blog pops up first, and they're relying on organics. I'm more relying on controlled, in a controlled environment that's based on my budget. I'm spending money on a platform, so I know I'm gonna be able to target people, and then I'm building this massive email list. Um, and this, I think, is probably the biggest reason why I'm at the success today, and why I got that $30,000 payment in one day, is because I now have an email list today where if I find another product, or Lady Boss does another promotion, like they did, I send an email, and I, already, I don't have to pay for these 500,000 emails again, I have them. I just send that email and boom, money comes in. So in essence, that's the concept of the how I made $33,000 in one day. So now you've learned the what and the how. And more than anything, I hope you've gotten a look at the behind the scenes of, of what it takes to actually make $33,000 in one day or just, just a full-time income online. To me, all this still seems surreal, like a game, like when I started it, uh, and numbers when I got my very first subscribers, you know, it, it all seemed just kind of like like playing a video game online. And I still feel like that today. Uh, just like the numbers are bigger. My lifestyle hasn't changed much um, since I, you know, was was making a I, more than twenty seven thousand dollars a year because that is pretty much broke. But um, you know, I'm a minimalist. Everything I own basically belongs in two suitcases. I don't own a home. I'm traveling around the world with my beautiful wife. Um, and we're just trying to live as much and invest into experiences versus material possessions. And so because of that, I save 90%, 95% of my income that I'm making. Um, and it's just been a wild ride. And I want to continue to be um, a guide and someone who is you know, showing the transparency of that. It, yes, it is possible uh, to make money online. It is possible to build a real legitimate business in an ethical way. And um, it's awesome. Uh, it's, so much, it's so liberating to have this freedom. I want as many people as possible to have what I have. I'm creating epic video content every single week, so make sure you subscribe. I also have a ton of resources and links below if you want to learn what I do. I do have a few courses as well. Otherwise, we'll catch you in the next video. Peace and God bless.